road, four days. This is my favorite way to travel. Set aside a block of time, have a general idea of what to do, and then set off with no itinerary or plans and allow the synchronistic events and people I meet along the way to create my journey. This is how we found Steen's Mountain Brewing. John at the French Glen Hotel said we should try to contact Rick Roy when we were in Burns, as this is the smallest craft brewery in Oregon. You have hops from a variety of places. Uh, folks here, in the community have uh, turned me on to other sources of hops. Some are left over from homesteading days, a um, hundred and something years ago. Some people planted and you know the history of them. Nobody knows the history of them so we use them for beer. Wow that's and great. And we don't so spend a lot of time trying to figure out what they are. <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, they make good beer. That's and great. So Can you tell us where these hops came from? Yeah these come from uh, French Glen. Uh, at, by the French Glen Hotel. They're the ones you find growing on the outhouse. Yep, we saw that. And uh, we make uh, an oatmeal stout called Outhouse Stout out of them. <laughs> and uh, you know, some people will probably be a little turned off given where they, where they grow. And the uh, thing is, you know, just drink your beer. There's other hop for, uh, sources we have where you gotta hike, you know, an hour in and pick and hike an hour back out or take a four wheel drive to get in. And some are still at uh, reasonably accessible at homesteads uh, that people here have allowed me to use. So we have uh, eight different heirloom varieties. Okay, and so you, we filmed many breweries in Oregon. You are the smallest brewery in Oregon. Yes. We brew 21 gallon batches at a time. And so we'll brew uh, a couple times a week. So, uh, we don't brew every week uh, necessarily. Like right now, we're kind of shut down from brewing because it's hop time. Right. It's time to harvest hops, and so that's our emphasis right now. But if you want the beer, you got to come to Harney County. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, is it your um, goal to become a bigger brewery? Oh, we don't know. <laughs> that's a discussion where we've only been open since October. Oh, really? Okay, wow. And, and so if people are in Burns, can they come by if you're open and see you? Yeah, you know, I mean, we've people have called us. I mean, we've received calls at 9 o'clock at night and, you know, okay, well, we'll run down and we'll Aww, open up. Or nice. we'll do that or we'll tell them where to go. Because the whole idea is to get people to come to Harney County. Yeah, right. And you have hops literally growing in your yard. Yep, we have our cool. own little hop yard here. <laughs> hop yard. Where we kind of concentrate on uh, primarily our heirloom hops. All our beers <coughs> and everything is named that has something to do with the history of Harney County. Whorehouse Meadows is an actual location on Steens Mountain. My daughter Carly does all the artwork wow. uh, for the labels. Uh, there's a large Basque population here. A Basque sheep herder, they came over here for sheep herding. They were the sheep herders. We've been hearing about them, and they lived really far out. Harney Valley Ale. I mean, this, there's a huge bird festival here in the springtime. Um, yeah, there's a lot of birds that migrate through here. Correct. Uh, how many varieties of beers do you? Fourteen. Fourteen. Wow, that's a lot for a small brewery. Yep. And so nothing is ever uh, a huge uh, amount. I love the setting. Well, it's still foamy, but I would say cheers to your super small brewery. Thanks. I love it. Ooh, I really like it. That's my kind of beer. It's not too hoppy. No. We don't really get into the hop bomb stuff, mm. and so we... Uh, I really like it. It's smooth, it's delicious, it's crisp. Good job. Thank Thanks. you so much for being on our show. Thank you. Thanks for coming. We grabbed a few beers and continued north. The next part of the journey would be interesting as we were driving straight into one of the largest wildfires in Oregon.